And so for line five, I know we're supposed to start line six, but just to uh, expound a little bit on line five, where it talks about a father of the fatherless, the defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. And so God cares about the fatherless and the widows. And it reminded me of James uh, chapter 1, 27, that says, Pure undefiled religion before God and the Father is this, is to visit orphans and widows in their trouble and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. And so, and we're supposed to do that. Anything that God cares about, we need to care about. All right, so let's move into line six. God sets the solitary in families. He brings out those who are bound in to prosperity. So God sets the solitary, this, you know, that, that unit in families. Remember, you know, we can't choose our family. God puts us in the family we're supposed to be in. We can choose our, our friends. We can choose our associates. We can choose our mates. But we cannot choose family. God sets the solitary in families. He brings out those who are bound into prosperity. But the rebellious dwell in the dry land. And, and a lot of people are going to give an account to, to God for how they conduct themselves with the family that God has given them. Because if we can't get along with our own blood family that God put us together, how are we supposed to get along with anybody else? How are we going to get along in heaven? So God says the solitary in families. And right there, that gives us a reference scripture to Psalm 107, 4 through 7. Psalm 107, 4 through 7, it says, They wandered in the wilderness in a desolate way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. And he would deliver them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way that they might go to a city for habitation. Okay, and so that's part of how God satisfying the longing soul on that one. And then so for he brings out those who are bound into prosperity. That sends us to Acts 12, 6. Acts 12, 6, that says, when Herod was about to bring him out, that night Peter was sleeping, bound with two chains between two soldiers, and the guards before the door were keeping the prison. Now, behold, I'm going to read on. Now, behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and the light shone in the prison, and he struck Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And his chains fell off his hands. So, you know, if God doesn't want us bound, we're not going to be bound. And it doesn't matter what the enemy or what kind of snares the enemy has laid up for us or try to ensnare us and trap us in, God is going to deliver us. So that's why it's not good to be fearful of anything or anyone. And so that reverence fear for God. All right, then it says, but the rebellious dwell in the dry land. So where God is going to prosper his people, the rebellious, those who are rebelling against God, are going to dwell in a dry land. Let's move to our next stanza. Oh God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, Selah, the earth shook, the heavens also dropped rain at the presence of God. Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You, O God, sent a plentiful rain, whereby you confirmed your inheritance. 
when it was weary. Your congregation dwelt in it. You, O oh God, provided from your goodness for the poor. All right. And so um, let's start elaborating. It's a, uh, a, a nice long stanza. So let's look at line seven. It says, O oh God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, say line. And you could just rest right there. All right. And so it gives us a reference scripture to uh, Exodus 13, 21. Exodus 13, 21, that says, And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead the way, and, and, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, so as to go by day and night. All right, and then that sends us to Deuteronomy 1, We're going to go over just a little bit. Let me see if I had that one marked, 133. That says, who went in the way before you to search out a place for you to pitch your tents to show you the way you should go in the fire by night and the cloud by day. And clearly, it doesn't matter where we are, God is going to lead us out and he's going to take care of us. We just have to continue to trust him. So let's uh, pause right here. And then uh, we'll pick it up in line eight.